if you allow me, please, I would like to talk to you for a few minutes about Abuna Bishoy Kamil, Father Bishoy Kamil. Why? Because tomorrow is March 21st, and March 21st is the date in which he departed to heaven. March 21st, 1979, he departed to heaven. Uh, I was um, a little child when he was teaching in Sunday school in uh, the church St. Mary uh, Maharram Bay Iskandraya and then later on he became my father and very dear to my heart so I will talk to you only for a few minutes about him uh, whatever I, I, I saw um, in my uh, discipleship to him uh, the first thing that wherever he were, was uh, service is growing uh, growth you can see growth when i was a little boy in sunday school and he was not ordained the priest yet at saint mary church uh, he um, made a huge growth in the service around him um, uh, not only in sunday school but also in youth groups and also many graduates from the church became priests and became bishops and metropolitans. The church in St. Mary Church, Maharram Bay Iskandriya, is like a powerhouse of producing servants, starting with him. Um, after he was ordained, God allowed me to have the notes which he wrote during the 40 days when he was in the monastery. And what attracted my attention to his notes that he said the verse from the Holy Bible which represented the theme for his service. The theme for his service. Lahua John first verse 3 when he said all things were made through him. Kullu shayin bihi can. And without him nothing was made that was made. Kullu shayin bihi can. This is a theme for life. When someone is dedicated to be under the direction from God. So I'm not going to act in life with my mind and my uh, intellectual ability, but God is going to lead me. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. That was repeated in all the notes during his 40 days. Uh, uh, training in the monastery as a priest. Before he uh, became a priest, before his ordination, he went to his holiness Pope Cyril the Sixth, Rahla Abuna al Baba Karulus Sadis, uh, thinking about going to the monastery before he went. In the same time, his wife, Tasoni Angel, as an angelic person uh, with the family of so many bishops and priests in her family went to His Holiness Pope Cyril the Sixth, asking also to go to the convent. And uh, the amazing story that I haven't seen myself, but the story went around that it was His Holiness Pope Cyril the Sixth who made them to get married from each other. And uh, both of them are celibate. So a celibate priest, while he was married to Sassoni Angel, who was angel, everybody from Alexandria will tell you if he or she met the son in jail, he is meeting an angel. And both of them were just, just very humble people, very amazing people. And uh, Bob Carollus VI was the one and uh, made everything for them. Uh, in his life, the main thing is the cross. The theme of his life in the cross. The, the verse that he used to uh, repeatedly say for the message of the cross is the power of God for the message of the cross is the power of God and um, so and indeed uh, the pivot of all salvation is the cross without the cross there is no salvation so it became the highlight of his life of his sermons of his everything the cross 
it is the, is the life of everything for Abuna Bishoy Kamil. He was a priest for about 20 years or slightly less, but during the 20 years, he established many churches, not only in Alexandria, Egypt, but outside. He was sent and he established churches in Los Angeles and churches in New Jersey. And um, he really, any uh, place he puts his hands in it, uh, everything is blessed, everything is growing. With him, there is nothing that was static. Everything is growing. As, so, as soon as he puts his hands, things go very, very growing a lot. Um, some of the expressions that we inherited from him, في الكنيسة عندنا في مرجربس وأمبر ويس العبارة بتاعت الإنجيل المعاش Ask anyone who knows أبونا بشوي كامل He will tell you that أبونا بشوي كامل used to have a theme in his life الإنجيل المعاش The Living Gospel وإحنا this uh, meeting of ours here is called the Living Gospel Family Meeting and the meetings after the Divine Liturgy called the Living Gospel Meetings We took this from him الإنجيل المعاش and we took from him as well التعبير بتاع سحابة الشهود the cloud of witness many times in his sermons and many times uh, he speaks about he spoke about the, the saints of the church and before he speaks about any of them he used to say they are part of the cloud of witness اللي هي موجودة in Hebrews في رسالة العبرانيين لنا سحابة من الشهود we have a cloud of witness. So in, we inherited this expression from him. He was a school in himself, always smiling and always happy, always very humble individual and never really interfered with any politics, not the politics of the country, not the politics, even the politics of the church. He is not involved. He is involved in one thing to teach and to see everything growing around him. I was reviewing uh, today, uh, meditating myself, and uh, I felt uh, sorry that we should see more growth in our church, and I prayed and said, Lord, as you helped Abun Abshoi Kamil to grow his church, help our church to grow. He wasn't busy with anything else except growth in the church. He was always a smiling pe person. You can never find anybody saying to you that he was crumby or uh, uh, angry or anything. Just a, a smiling person caring only about the salvation of the souls and really um, peaceful person cares about the salvation of the souls only. And the amazing thing that he used to do that is again challenging for any priest that he used to go around up to late hour in the day taking confession of youth, of people. Me, one of them. He was, goes around, uh, keeps up his appointment, but don't be astonished that if he visited you after midnight or around midnight, taking confession in your apartment or giving you an appointment to meet him in the church, it's confession, 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 meeting people, meeting people, meeting people all the time, because that's what he cared about. He also cared about the poor people. He had uh, a liturgy every Monday. It's called the Liturgy of Ikhwat al -Rab, the Brothers and Sisters of Christ, every Monday. And you see the church is filled with people who are in need and they are met cheerfully. And every, all the needs that they submit is satisfied and more. Uh, and this is why God gave him um, a, a beautiful service because of this. I am a believer. If someone gives us a, the poor, the Lord will uh, will give him handsomely. His, uh, his Holiness Pope Shenouda III was very, very uh, keen about helping the poor and the God gave him long life and health. Abu Nabshoi Kamil was very keen about helping the poor and God gave him very victorious service all over the world, outside Egypt and in Egypt. Everything that he touches his hands on is growing in a very fantastic way. Because really without helping the poor, there is no evidence that the person have, have any meaning
for Christianity at all. احنا, we inherited this to some extent in our church about helping the poor because we have lagnet areas, which isn't really in any other church, not to my knowledge. It's initiated at the very beginning of our church, thanks to the people who ran around with legal functions and legal help and all the kind of things until we have areas as well inherited this part from him. My beloved friends, Every time we think about Abu Nabshoi Kamil, we think about a loving individual. We think about an individual in which everything that he touches, it grows. And it grows nicely. And we think about an individual who is really uh, meek and really humble, uh, very uh, pure, have a pure life. Uh, as I said, he was a celibate priest and his wife is a celibate also. Um, it's a really a unique type of priest, uh, priesthood is proud, really, to have Abu Nabshoi Kamil as, um, uh, as a priest in the church. I myself feel that whenever I have his picture, just his picture around me, I feel I am blessed. In the altar where I'm praying, I have his picture on the um, Divine Liturgy book. And even as I speak to you, I have my big, his picture in front of me. Because he is really, really a nice example of someone who loved the Christ and wanted to give handsomely to people. I have never seen him angry one second. I have never seen him hard on anyone. Just a fantastic, saintly individual and as you know, the, the church is considering him in the front run of the people who will be given the, the title saint in the church. May the Lord help us through his prayers. May the Lord make us to follow his footsteps in the growth of the church, in the bringing disciples to himself, into contributing to the church in a very, very handsome way. May the Lord benefit us through his prayers. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.